rule repeater love to repeat how you broke the rule. The imaginary rules, the rules you didn't know about, the rules that maybe only they know about. And rule repeater just kept repeating them. And if you asked a clarifying question and played a clarify card, rule repeater would say, well, you broke the rule. Blank. Leaving that blank open. Assuming you know what that means. As if you went to into a restaurant and ate the food and they said you ate the food without paying for it. Which, of course, means you needed to pay for the food. But rule repeater had so many rules that nobody could guess what that, what was expected. And what that blank meant. You didn't answer my message in 2.3 milliseconds. Does that mean you answered, you broke a rule? And they, when you acted confused, they said, well, why didn't you answer in 2.1 milliseconds? And then you would give an answer and say, I didn't realize that was expected of me. And they would just repeat. Well, why, their, their rhetorical question, why didn't you answer in 2.1? Huh? Why not 2.1, huh? As if you're supposed to know. But do you know all the rules that people invent? Hello? <laughs> no, neither do I. Is it more fun to follow rules of games? Or rules that people just surprised you with? Because rules of games often make sense. And it's fun. Those rules make things more fun. That's why we have rules in the kitchen. To eat yummy food and not cut our finger off. So next time you interact with someone, remember rule repeater. And that, well, maybe, maybe people don't know all the rules that everybody else thinks everybody else knows.